Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby and I'm back again with another disheartening episode. Like this message has been on my heart for so long and I really wanted to share with you guys because I think I even said it in my previous video telling you that coronavirus is exposing African leaders. And what I saw this morning really made me so sad that no, I cannot keep this to myself. I cannot just allow this message to keep on haunting me without coming in here to speak up. I've been saying that COVID-19 is a blessing in disguise in Africa. COVID-19 is a wake-up call to every single African, whether you're an African living in Africa or you're an African living in the diaspora. COVID-19 came for us. It came to expose our leaders and it's a wake-up call for all of us. Let me tell you something that a Nigerian politician wrote on his Instagram today. Everyone who held and is holding any political office in Nigeria, whether elective or appointed, including me, have failed. We sold crude oil for 64 years, but we couldn't feed our citizens for just two weeks of lockdown. Well, the God of the poor will judge us all. It's time to reboot. I've been saying this over and over again, that if you live in a continent where the people in power don't care about its people, it's always the citizens that suffer. This is coming from a politician. It's not just Nigeria, but almost all the African countries. Some are doing well, but almost all the African countries. Ghana has been digging gold since 1957. Zimbabwe, Diamond, Congo, Coltan, name it. But this continent is still not at the place that you and I are looking for. I'm saying that COVID-19 has exposed African leaders because if COVID-19 is not a global pandemic, like all of them would jet out of Africa to go seek what the best medical system whilst they have to invest in a world-class medical system in Africa but they are not doing it all our ailing president who go abroad to get treatment mention their names even Mugabe died in Singapore talk about Nigerian president I think somewhere 2017 he was based in the UK for several months because his health condition was not good. Name them. Let's go to Cameroon. Paul Bia? He's always seeking for what? A regular treatment somewhere in a country in abroad. This is how COVID-19 has exposed most of you. I know I'm going to be in trouble. This message has been on my heart and I just feel like if no one is talking about it, I have to come in here and say it. And if you agree with me, don't forget to tag them. Don't forget to share this video. First of all, like and share. Because this message has to reach all of them. It's time to invest. Where are all the money going to? From money from our gold, money from all our natural resources. Even Ghana has oil, gold, diamond. We don't have the best health care system in Ghana. Tell me about your country. Go to Central African Republic, a country with a population of 5 million. They have only three ventilators. How sad. COVID-19 has exposed our African leaders. And I'm talking to you as a citizen. It's time 
to forget that political party that you support and think about the way to move the country forward. Sometimes I feel so sad to see African youth on Facebook arguing and insulting themselves just because of the political leader who is misusing the country's resources. And we are there insulting ourselves. I've been telling you guys, man, Africa belongs to you and I. So it's time you wake up. Forget about the political parties that you support. Because let me tell you something, we were all born in it. I came to see my father supporting this party. I don't even know what the party is capable of doing for me. But because my father or my mother support exactly the same party, I have to support it. Even they are not doing well. Because I inherited from my dad or my mom, I have to support. Africa needs what a world-class healthcare system please think about us think about the citizens like when you go to certain places they don't even have a hospital not even a normal one they don't they don't have no don't let me go anywhere there's a small village we don't have a hospital in here I'm not talking about anywhere, no, like, just my village. Almost, there are almost four or five villages in here. None of them has a healthcare system. None. So in case someone in here is sick, you have to drive. I'm just pleading on all African leaders that let COVID-19 be a lesson to all of you. Please invest in our healthcare system without such a vision brain drain will be difficult to avoid go to the uk go to the us go and count the number of nigeria trained doctors over there they are there because there is no world class hospitals in here they are there because even the salary that some of them are taking in here is not even encouraging if we don't take actions of investing in our healthcare system, brain drain will be difficult to avoid. Count it. Ghanaian doctors in abroad, Nigerian doctors, these people are saving other race whilst our own race are dying. This message is coming straight from the heart. No script attached. I've been seeing it. And have another message. African countries without airlines. Please, can we invest in national carriers for all African countries? Because when it came to the evacuation of citizens abroad, we couldn't evacuate them because we don't have airlines. Yo, when the outbreak started in Wuhan, China, I saw so many African countries, the people living in Wuhan, they were crying. Please evacuate them. First of all, they never evacuated them because they know that the healthcare system in their various countries is weak. So in case these people bring the coronavirus into the country, there is no way they will be able to solve it. Secondly, because they never have an airline that will evacuate their citizens from wherever they are to their country. This is the message on my heart. Please, African leaders, I'm begging you. I'm not a politician, but I'm that village boy who loves this continent with all my heart. Enough of the talking. One, invest in our healthcare system. Two, if you're a country without an airline, please do something. Uh, my, I'm from Ghana, we don't have a national career, but yet every day we keep on praising our president whilst nothing is happening in the country. I'm not a politician, I don't support any party, I'm just giving you facts what is happening. Enough of the talking, and start acting. It's your boy Mr. Ghana baby, if you agree with me, please do me a favor and tag anyone in power in Africa. Don't forget to subscribe to be part of this awesome family. Like I said, we have to end the month with a 400k.
Thank you so much for the love and support. And I'm going to see you in the next one. I am Maya. Peace out.